All right, everybody. Happy Friday, TGIF. And every Friday, if you don't know, on my channel, I look around and find the most fragranced orchid in my collection right now. So I am in the greenhouse that is still in transition from the winter stress. And the only thing that's blooming is right here, this Orantiaca. To let you know, the time is Friday, April 5th, and it is four, or it is just before four, three, it's April 5th, 15th. Yes, the 15th, and it is 3.58. On an overcast day, it's very, very windy. Temperatures are in the middle to high 50s. And the humidity, of course, is about 65, 70%. And as I said, this is the only thing that is blooming. And this is not fragrant. So, next time you see me, I will be amongst my fragrant orchids. Keep watching. Okay, everyone. And I am going to my collection. Of most fragrant orchid. And while I'm in here, I need to just take this out. And as I set it down, I am going to smell the bones. This, of course, is Cindy Bangs, Fanda Cindy Bangs. And there is a very chemically Swedish fragrance, but We'll keep our eye on that. Here we are to get in the sunray. Do you get in the sunray? And there is no. Oh. Let's go over here to Encyclia Ris Grisafi. Grisafi. Oh. That is very pungent, musky. A little bit of mothballs in there. That dominates it. But there is a slight sweetness that is trying to come through. That really takes the prize over that. Let's keep moving on. Let's go here. This is formerly Milton Eddy in Hawaiian Sunset. Little Ancidian type. And the fragrance is very, fragrance is very twinkle-esque. Honey with some sweetness there, but it is very weak. Let's go down to this Phalaenopsis, which is Katie's Fierce Frog. And there is a rose fragrance there, but not as intense as Reese. And there, let's try this one. No. Okay, going over this way, let's try this new addition, Phalaenopsis Matcha Yu. And there is, right at the moment, a plasticky scent, which is not in the ring. But 
Lawrence. Last week's champion. Oh, it's lovely. It really is nice, soft fruit raspberry with a little bit of rose in it, but it's raspberry. There is going to be tough competition between that and Reese. Let's try this Anopsis here. Jaiho's Pink Girl. No. While I'm here, I am just going to give a little whiff of this, which is Jermaine Vincent. smell a few things and I do smell like sweet but there's also a tinge of cinnamon which this says cinnamon but still it is between Phalaenopsis Thalanatii and the encyclia over there let's see Look for more balloons. And I think we've covered this area. We've got the leaves, we've got the leaves. Let's move over here. Let's see what it is. EPC Kiyoguchi, which has one mini. And it still has a honey fragrance to it, but it is in about third place at the moment. It is behind that. It is behind Dana Natiara. So it's in fourth place. Let us smell Yang Yang Superstar. No. Let's go down here. Cross your fingers for uh, Modesta. Phalaenopsis Modesta. No fragrance at all, unfortunately. Okay, let's go here to Elaine B. Taylor. I just smell wax, and here is another Jermaine Vincent. And that one really doesn't have a scent. Oh. Okay. Let's... Well, we don't have to let's anything because I believe I have exhausted the blooms. So let us grab Encyclia Reese Rosathiae 
and carry it over here near De La Natiae. Now, did I smell this one, which is LD Gideon King? No, I don't need to. Okay, so <coughs> let me make sure that I've done everything. Actually, you know what? I'm going to smell this little Okarsha here. Nothing. Okay, so let's. I'm going to bring. Jermaine Vincent, too. So, let's go with this. And it is rose musk. A little bit closed, in a way. Um, let's go with this. That is definitely fragrant of cinnamon. A little bit of bubblegum sweetness, which if you forget is a cinnamon candy clone. Let me smell this one more time. And then I smell this. You know what? I'm going to give it to Encyclia Grisafii. And so let's give De La Natiae. Let me put this one back. Since she's been eliminated, let's smell. Okay. That does have a rose soft with an edge of fruitiness, and I can already tell you that this is going to, yeah, this is the winner this week. There's just too much of uh, coming off of this scent. It is there, but it is very faint, but it is lovely and sweet. But for overall substance of an impact of the fragrance, I am pleased to show you all and to introduce you to the most fragrance orchid in my collection right now, which is Encyclia Grisafii. Tag once again. Oh my God, let me just end the video before I break off these spikes and that is what is going to happen so give her a or him a round of applause thanks for watching Three records.